rounds did not queue out. Maybe the fourth one. Where should I need to sell myself? I'm not my freaking campaign step! Don't shout it at me! I want to be your wife. What would you make the headline say? The campaign is over! Turn over to me! You better start firing then. Because all of our life power day to unseat me. Come on, see you back, get back. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's get rid of him. Come on, man. There are many filaments for kill. This queen murder. Decimate. The smallest dog is enough. I've been calling your phone. We'll wait till midnight and we'll dispose of the body. Hi, my name is Ureke and I'm an actress. And these are my top five best female Afrobeat artists. Number five, Asha. I love Asha because the voice is very soothing and when she came out, she came out and surprised and shocked everybody with her album and people across the world just fell in love with her and started to wonder who is this woman and you see her, she's just this tiny little frame with this amazing voice and that the track Jayla just really kind of touched a lot of people and I can see that she's a bit of a love bug so um, yes. My number four would be a track that got everybody dancing and <laughs> just created a massive frenzy would be Johnny with Yeni Alade. <laughs> she kind of like took us by surprise and she's very energetic, you know, the dancing and um, the booty shaking and everything. My kind of girl, you know, um, so I absolutely love Johnny. And of course, it stars a very good friend of mine, Alex Kobo, and we call him Johnny for fun. So if you're looking for your Johnny, <laughs> just go and get Alex. Number three would be Shay Shay with Murder. I don't know if it's Pataranking featuring Shay Shay or it's Shay Shay featuring Pataranking. But Murder is a track that just, you know, your reggae vibes come out. And um, from what I heard, it wasn't really her best track at the time to release. But some, someone just, um, maybe someone in the team um, advised her to put it out there and it became a smash hit. And I have it on replay in my car all the time. Number two would be my girl Tiwa Savage with Love Me Love Me. Um, fantastic track. I loved her when she did um, um, the track with Don Jazzy, Eminado, but Love Me Love Me came out before Eminado and I think it just made me fall in love with her even more. Then my number one, my songstress, the powerhouse vocals, um, Waje with I Wish. Um, it's a bit of a sad song because it says, I wish I didn't have a heart. <laughs> so I guess maybe it's for broken hearts of people, but it's such a lovely track. And I guess if you are down in the dumps and been, um, suffer some type of heartbreak, you might be able to relate to the song. But uh, I just love it because it had this, you know, you know, reggae vibe as well, if I'm not mistaken, but it was just a song that you love li listening to all the time. But well, just, I kind of like brought out what it really relates to and just have a good time listening to it. So those are my five top Afrobeat females. Best Afrobeat female um, songstresses, I should I say.